Okay, I can't tell you how excited I am to be here tonight. It uh, seems like we've been waiting quite a long time to get all of you behind the wheel of this machine. Um, you know, when the team took on the project, we were very clear that we were going to build the best Mustang that we've ever built. And I stand before you today, and I believe that we have done that. But we look forward to getting the feedback from you after you guys drive tomorrow. Uh, now, the Fastback is going to be in dealership soon, and a convertible is going to be in dealerships later this fall. Let's take a look at the Mustang's exterior. We spent a lot of time working on the proportions of this vehicle, and it resulted in a vehicle that is lower and wider, very athletic in its stance, and a more aggressive ground hugging appearance. When you look at the side profile, you can see that we have a longer, muscular hood, and that fastback design provides a very sleek and aerodynamic profile. This is a very uncluttered and purposeful design. If you look at the front end, the front end has that blunt nose that you expect to see in a Mustang, and a signature shark bite grille. Standard HID headlamps, LED signature lamps, that give it a very distinctive day and nighttime appearance. And you can see those signature lamps behind me. The rear vehicle, you see the tri-bar tail lamps, but done in a very modern way. They're three-dimensional, 100% LED, and they feature the sequential turns. Another feature that we have is a pony projection lamp. And what that does is as you approach the vehicle, we're gonna project a picture of the horse on the ground, crystal clear image to greet you. Now the interior, the interior is absolutely stunning. It is the best interior that we've ever had in Mustang. Now even though it's all new, it should look somewhat familiar in a certain way. Like the symmetrical dual brows on the, on the IP that has been a signature of the Mustang interiors throughout the years. Large round uh, analog gauges. Now this is an aircraft inspired interior design. And it contains rotary knobs and toggle switches that are strategically placed for easy access by the driver in order for quick and, and precise control of the vehicle. Now, Mustang, Team Mustang pays attention to every detail. And there's not a stone that's been left unturned on this interior. The fit and finish is absolutely precise. It's world-class craftsmanship using genuine materials and premium aluminum trim accents. If it looks like it's aluminum, it is. Now, one thing that I want you all to notice when you're driving tomorrow is we spent a lot of time really improving the overall ergonomics and overall storage of the vehicle. So when you first get in, you're going to notice you have a lot of knee room. You have a lot of knee room because we reduced the size of the IP by 30%. How do we do that? With an industry first passenger knee airbag that's actually housed in the glove box door. You'll also notice as a driver that the steering wheel is smaller. It's got a sporty steering wheel and we added tilt and telescope uh, adjustability to it. You're also going to notice that the shifter has been moved closer to the driver and that the cup holders have been moved farther away from the driver, giving you a clear shifting path even while you're utilizing those cup holders. Now, another feature that we put into this standard, we have memory recline seats. What does that mean? Well, for those of you who drive Mustangs today, you know that as you go to access the rear seat, you never can get that seat right back to where it came from. But we changed that for 2015. You just use the, when you're out tomorrow, just use the dump handle in the back of the seat, and you'll be able to push the seat right back to your driving position. Staying with the seats and memory, we also have an optional uh, memory seat. It's positioned with three settings located on the door trim. Now the glove box we made more usable. It's lockable, we put a light in it, and in order to get that owner's manual out of the way, there's a hidden door that puts the owner's manual up into the instrument panel, leaving the glove box wide, the glove box wide open for you to use. You'll notice that there's storage at the base of the center stack. You put your cell phone there. Standard uh, USB charging port, charging two times faster than a normal port. And we also have a power point there as well. We put a sunglass uh, bin in the vehicle located to the left of the steering wheel. It's flocked line and it's standard on both fastback and convertible. And then the door trim map pocket storage has also been greatly improved, uh, even holding up to a 20 ounce water bottle. Now the trunk, the trunk is larger and more usable than the outgoing product. We lowered the lift over so it's easier to put things in. And we also improved the pass-through in the fastback, you know, you have the, the seats that fold down. And the height of that pass-through has been increased so it can handle larger objects. Also, if you opt to go with our 12-speaker Shaker Pro premium audio system, 
that has the subwoofer in the trunk. We've optimized that package as well. You can put two golf bags in this trunk without folding down the seats. Now the heart and soul of any Mustang is obviously the powertrain. And as Roz mentioned, we have three powertrains, each one producing at least 300 horsepower. The 3.7 liter V6 delivers 300 horsepower and 280 foot pounds of torque. This engine has been servicing us very well and our customers have given us great feedback. And it allows the most successful Mustang the performance that customers expect. The game changer is really the 2.3 liter EcoBoost. Specifically designed for the Mustang and putting out 310 horsepower and 320 foot pounds of torque while delivering a staggering 32 miles per gallon on the highway. Now this is the first rear wheel drive application of this 2.3 liter EcoBoost. It's a high tech engine that's really giving us the ability to deliver the hand solution of power, performance, and fuel. And like you would expect of the Mustang, it's a ton of fun to drive. This is definitely going to put a smile on your face when you guys drive on the road tomorrow. The torque curve is broad and flat, giving the car great response, whether you're taking off from a standstill or whether you've got to punch it and pass somebody on the highway. And of course, the legendary 5.0 liter V8, 435 horsepower, 400 foot pounds of torque, propelling you to a speed of 155 <coughs> miles an hour. As Roz mentioned, this is the most powerful Mustang GT in our history. Now for transmissions. We've improved our transmissions across the board. Customers can choose from a six-speed manual or a six-speed smooth shifting automatic. The automatic comes standard with panel shifters and we're rev matching in the downshifts. The clutch of the manual shifter, the clutch and the manual shifter have been uh, redesigned to deliver a very precise and smooth shifting operation. And a six-speed automatic has been enhanced to handle the higher torque and the higher speeds. Ride and handling, obviously a huge part of the story and a huge part of a Mustang. Now you guys know what we did with the Boss 302 and took this out of rear axle and pushed it probably farther than anybody thought we could. But the team was driven that we were going to make a car better than the Boss 302. And to do that, we put in an all new independent rear suspension. We have significantly stiffer body structure. In fact, the Fastback uh, has 28% more torsional rigidity than its predecessor. And this allows us to tune the suspension to achieve, to achieve a world-class blend of driving dynamics and ride quality. Now, to match that rear independent suspension, we had to redesign the front suspension. So we have a double bar right front suspension. Uh, it has a full subframe, which improves the stiffness and overall steering precision. The new geometry also allows us to package much larger and more powerful brakes on all of the Mustang models with the largest one being a six-piston Brembo on 15-inch rotors. This is the best stopping Mustang we've ever done. And when you drive the cars tomorrow, you're going to notice that the suspension geometry has been tuned to provide twice as much anti-lift and twice as much anti-squat, keeping the car much flatter as you accelerate and brake. Now, performance packages. We offer this on both the EcoBoost and the GT. And basically the package has stiffer suspension tuning, larger brakes, more aggressive axle ratios, and other enhancements to give the car a more performance-oriented driving. You really can appreciate how tight and responsive this car is, and you're going to have a lot of fun in the mountains tomorrow. <coughs> Safety, obviously, very important. Uh, I mentioned earlier that we had that uh, innovative glove box airbag. In addition to that, we've doubled the number of airbags in this Mustang. We have eight total airbags, including side curtains on the fastback, which is the first for Mustang. And staying with the theme of the best Mustang ever, I stand before you with the safest Mustang we've ever done. Now, it's also the most technologically advanced ever. It has a lot of standard features like intelligent access with push button start. And this is important that you understand. There are no more keys in the Mustang, whether you're buying the, the base one or whether you're buying a V8. A rear view camera standard, uh, individual tire pressure monitoring system. This is a first for Ford, but with a push of a button, you'll be able to get your tire pressures at all four corners. And track apps. Both of you guys are familiar with track apps. We've had it for a couple years now. It's definitely a, a customer pleaser. It gives all of the performance gauges and information that our customers want when they're out there performing. 
And the tech story just doesn't stop here. New this year, we're very proud of this. As you get in the car tomorrow, you're going to notice that you have a push button start, and then you have these toggles. And you can change your steering effort, so you can change your electronic stability control, and then there's a button called mode. Selectable driving modes is the feature that we're adding this year. And that allows you to choose between normal, wet snow, sport, and track modes. And when you do that, we're gonna change many different parameters in the vehicle, specifically steering, throttle response, stability control settings, and then the automatic transmission shift points for an optimized driving experience. Now this is the most customized, Mustang is the most customized car in the world. So if you don't like the settings that we chose for you, you can reach over and hit any one of those toggles and override those settings. Mustang is the first car in the segment to offer this technology. Now Mustang also gets many of Ford's industry leading driver assist technologies like blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, adaptive cruise control, collision warning, rain sensing windshield wipers. Um, all of it's here. Now the technology story also doesn't stop here. Today we did something that we think is going to be very special and that our customers are going to love. We are releasing a very specific Mustang app. That Mustang app made it to the, app, uh, the Apple store today. And we've got a group of people over here in our technology section that's going to help you guys load it onto your phone. That app is specifically designed for the Mustang owner, bringing Mustang owner information right to their fingertips, doing things uh, like a racetrack finder. It will tell you the nearest racetrack. You can also just with the push of a button get directions to that racetrack. You can call the racetrack. It's got a lot of cool things. And the biggest feature that we're offering in this app is called augmented reality. And what augmented reality means is that when you get in the new Mustang, you can take your phone and, and for instance, pull it up to the instrument panel and you'll find hot spots, like the, like the uh, headlamp switch, let's say. And when you, when you hit that the button, it's gonna tell you what it does, how to use it, and bring all that information right to your fingertips. So I really encourage you guys to spend time in the technology section, get it loaded on your phone, and be able to use it tomorrow.